Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain why the devil or Satan is the capitalist. But before I start, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel and share the video if you like the message. There is a link in the description where you can watch my movie about the same subject. What is the meaning of life? Who created us and why? I'm here today very curious to learn about Christianity and the message that Christianity brings to people. Hi, how are Hi. you doing? I'm Michael. Michael, pleasure to meet you. Rabbi Schwartz, Alan Schwartz. Hi. That's why this building is facing west. Hmm? Mayans believe that Thunderbolt God has some hatches. In addition, every little village had its own gods. The local stream, an especially big tree, an oddly shaped rock, all were thought to have their own god inside them. The ancient Egyptians had a strong belief that the soul comes back to the body after uh, uh, some time of his death. Uh, so there it is mentioned that 33 crore, like 330 million demigods. Wow. <laughs> it's a huge number, but it's a huge universe to maintain. <laughs> Here, all these people are the same. No poor people, no rich people. I'm a former atheist and I have converted to Islam. But uh, I didn't convert to Islam because God exists or Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the messenger of God. No, I converted to Islam because I found out that the solution to all our problems on this planet is in Islam. And that is why I'm going to explain for you what is the solution to all our problems on this planet. In Abrahamic religion, especially in Islam, the source of all problems we are facing on this planet is because of the Satan. If Satan doesn't exist, then we don't have any problems. We don't do any bad deeds. And I'm, I want to locate the Satan for you now. For example, in Abrahamic religion, we know that if somebody steals something, it's because of the Satan, because Satan fooled that person to steal something. I want to uh, locate the Satan with a very simple uh, example. Imagine uh, I want to uh, go and do uh, to buy some food from a grocery, but I don't have money. I have to feed my children, so I go and steal some food from a grocery. According to Abrahamic religion, it was the Satan who fooled uh, me uh, to steal the food. But imagine that we are living in a world where money doesn't exist and capitalism doesn't exist. Everything is for free, and I just go to a grocery and take whatever I need and uh, say, God bless you to the grocery keeper and come home. So in the first picture, Satan or the devil existed because money existed, because the capitalism existed. But in the second picture, no, no Satan, no devil, nothing existed. I just went and no bad deeds happened either. I just went and took whatever I needed and came home. Another example I have to give you is that um, in Afghanistan, farmers of Afghanistan produce 90% of the world opium because if they produce tomatoes and potatoes, they cannot sell it or if they can sell it, it's just 10 cent, 5 cent or 10 cents per kilo and they might not be even able to sell it, but a kilo of uh, opium, they can sell it hundreds of dollars. So what drives them to produce opium instead of potatoes and tomatoes is the money. But in Sweden, where I'm living, the farmers of Sweden, they don't produce a single of, uh, gram of drugs, despite most of them are atheists. Just because they are well off, the government takes care of them. But in Afghanistan, farmers are poor, they have to put uh, food on their table, and they can sell the opium hundreds of dollars per kilo. Another example I have to give you is that from my home country, Iran. 40 years ago, before the Iranian revolution, uh, we had bad deeds, drugs, prostitution, all bad deeds happened in Iran during the Shah regime. And um, one dollar was seven Iranian currency, which is two months. My father was making $500, uh, it was an average salary, and uh, we had um, uh, quite a uh, good life. And uh, after the re revolution, now 42 years after the revolution, one uh, dollar is nearly 30,000 Iranian currency, and uh, 
average salary is around $100, $75 or $100, and everything has become much more expensive. And uh, that's why the crime has increased a thousand times. So it means that either Satan has become stronger there or a more satanic system came to power. So even the example of my home country shows that it is not that Satan can fool people more in this time than before. No, it is because a more satanic system or government took the power and as Quran says that Satan spread poverty among you and lead you to immorality and all bad deeds. A more satanic system came to power and spread poverty among uh, Iranians. 75% of Iranians uh, live below the poverty line now. And they have to do all bad deeds to, to survive. That's why it's not because uh, the Satan got stronger there. No the more satanic system came to power. So Satan is the system, is not a falling angel. According to the verse of Quran, Satan's power, if we just imagine that Satan is the falling angel, so his power is in poverty. So if we get rid of the poverty, then Satan has no power. And poverty is the opposite to wealth. When 1% of the world uh, population they own 50% of the total capital of the planet, which is $110 trillion. So hundreds of millions of people are forced to poverty. They live on $1 a day. And that 1%, they try to become richer and richer by making coup d'etat here, making war there, producing uh, different uh, you know, conflicts to sell weapons. And uh, just, for example, human trafficking is a $150 billion uh, industry for some people. So to gain more money, they do a lot of bad deeds. They do all bad deeds to gain more money, more capital. And those hundreds of millions of people who live on $1 a day, they also have to do all bad deeds to survive. So the poverty will not exist if these 1% don't get the opportunity to become richer and richer. And obviously, this is the capitalism that, that gives this uh, 1% the opportunity to become trillionaires. I hope that uh, from these few examples, everybody understand that the, the Satan is nothing but the system, the capitalist system. And I'm open to any discussion in the future with anybody to explain more. I don't want to make this video very long. Now, what God wants from us is in Islam, that we have to stand towards Mecca five times a day and say, show me the right way. The wrong way was the way we are living in this jungle with the jungle rules, where the strongest get the most and the weakest get the least or nothing that has to die. So the right way is the way where none of these things happens in this uh, world. No prostitution, no drugs, no war, no poverty. A beautiful world. So that's the right way that um, God wants to guide us to. And why we stand towards Mecca is because in Mecca, when we go to Hajj, we are all equal. We dress um, two material, cotton material. The, the, the material is also decided by God that it is cotton. And everybody has to dress equal. There is no rich, no poor. And we stand towards Mecca and say, show me the right way. And he has shown us the right way 1400 years. And unfortunately, majority of uh, my fellow Muslim, they don't understand it. That the right way is an equal world, a world without this inequality, this jungle rule. After we go seven times around the symbol of the equality, which is God, and we say to him, I accept it, I accept it. Then we have to reject the opposite of the equality which is the symbol of that is the Satan. And God told us uh, that the Satan is the one who spread poverty among you. And I explained that without capitalism, poverty will not exist. And after we reject the Satan, which is the symbol of the capitalism, then we have to sacrifice for the equality. And we have to promise God that we are ready to sacrifice 
for your demand. And that ship is uh, a symbol of um, our precious one. So when we promise God that we are ready to sacrifice even our Ishmael, our children, it will be easy for us to sacrifice our luxury life in this jungle. And according to Quran, the equal war is a certain and will happen definitely. That's why we are created here on this planet. Quran chapter 28 verse 5 says, And we wanted to confer favor upon those who were oppressed on earth and make them leaders and make them inheritors. According to Quran, there are just two classes, oppressed and oppressor. And only in this capitalist system, there are oppressed and oppressor because those who want to gain money, become billionaires, they have to oppress others, dictators. So in that world, there will be no oppressor and no oppressed. Everybody are equal. So that's why we will one day get rid of the capitalism and will live equal. There are many more verses in Quran that indicate that one day we will live in an equal world and this is why we are here on this planet. And it is a definite uh, promise from God. I've been talking to people in the past. Uh, and they have mentioned different things. And I mentioned two of them. One of them is greed. They say that we cannot get uh, rid of the greed. But I have explained for them that greed is just for money. And all greed is only in this capitalist system because you can gain money. You can gather billions of dollars. That's why you are greedy. You want to make more money. But in, the, in that equal system, that greed will disappear because you cannot uh, gather money even if you want because it doesn't exist. Another one is uh, trading. Uh, somebody told me that uh, and trade will uh, disappear. We cannot trade anymore. No, we will not need to uh, trade anymore. We will share everything with each other. And uh, according to Islam, we will live uh, for God and we work for God. And we, we, we just get rewards for God. Many people ask themselves why we are living on this planet. And they have been looking for the answer and unfortunately they haven't found the answer. I believe there is only one reason for the creation. That God created us like animals and we live in this jungle. But he sent us uh, prophets and he gave us the ability to understand so that he can guide us through his message, out of this jungle, and we live like human beings. Now, those who obey his message and his demand and live like human beings and fight for that equality, that human world, will be rewarded hereafter. And those who reject his demand and want to live like animals in this jungle will be punished hereafter. Thank you for watching my video. And I'm always uh, open for any future debate or discussion about this great idea. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And the link to my movie uh, about the same idea is in the description and the link to donation as well. Uh, so that we can spread this uh, beautiful message uh, to as many people as possible. So that we finally get rid of this jungle and live in a human world where everybody live like human beings. Thank you very much.